I've been playing with uh, Ember for a while now, the Ember server. So I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. But anyway, I've been using it on my Pine 64 as the server. So I'll be testing that one. And I'm also testing my Transpart Aura X5, which is a micro computer running the official Windows 10 operating system. So anyway, I'll show you using those two devices. I'll show you how the uh, Ember looks on the other devices that I've got for client. But these two will be supporting the server. Okay, now I was going to test out the MB server running on my uh, Pine64 developer box, and that's using an all winner $5 SOC. But anyway, I'll be testing on that as a server. Also, micro, micro PC, I'll be testing that as a server. And one thing I want to base it on was my uh, 10, 10 year old $10,000 computer sitting on my desk. And I tested it using that, but it is extremely so, slow. So these other two devices, these cheap, inexpensive devices, run MB a much, much better. So I'm going to be testing MB on the MB server again on that little uh, microcomputer I got. And there's my $10,000 10-year-old PC that I built many, many years ago because by today's standards it's very slow. But anyway, it is pathetic running Pine, uh, running uh, MB and the Pine 64. So that's what I'm going to start testing right now. Now right now I'm using my uh, the Mi Box, the one that I just got, and this is the official uh, Android TV OS that uh, this box just came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, anyway, let me show you this one. Like, again, this is Envy. Now I've got it set up where it automatically starts playing the TV show. Now, if you notice, it is trying to tune to the last TV channel I used. Uh, it is kind of slow, and no matter which device that I use, it's the same thing, it's a little slow. I don't know if it's because of my network or what, but some of my Android boxes, they're instantaneous on loading and changing, but this particular uh, MB does not. So I'll just give you a little sample here. Uh, let's try this one, Mark. Well, actually, we don't want to use that one. But if you notice, it, it takes, I think, seven or eight seconds to change channels. There are a billion reasons to get the first in advance. Well, once it starts playing, it actually plays pretty decently. In a career that you love, that's not just... Again, it's kind of slow on the changing of the channels. And this is a 720p high definition channel. Well, here's the TV guide. Nice. Uh, channel 4.1, that is a 1080i interlaced channels. Now, if you notice, it's got repeat, new, HD, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I did, uh, in the settings, you could change all this and the different colors of the different bars. That's all in the settings. Uh, let's see if I can get to the setting. Uh, if I can get up to the set, there they are. Okay, repeat episodes, I can, uh, I showed that, premieres, new episodes, these are all options that I've checked, uh, place favorites at the beginning, I don't have any favorites, enable color-coded backgrounds, that's what I did, but anyway, that's the settings to get to it, if you notice the color-coding in the background disappeared for me, turn to the channel, I can also record, but I have not set up the recording functionality. Uh, one thing I want to tell you about the uh, running this server right now, you're watching it using my little uh, Pine64 board, but uh, it, it's running Linux, but it took me a long time to fig figure out how to get Linux installed because it's all new to me and it's, uh, it's a big learning experience. So if anybody's watching this video and has some uh, help they can offer me on that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, 
Well, let me go back to that. I'll try to explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, if I can get back to the main screen again. There we go. The latest movies. Okay, now these are actually uh, folders. These are actually uh, my videos that I've recorded prior or the ones that I've ripped and put on my NAS. But all these are NFS uh, recordings that's on my NAS. And it took me a while to figure out how to mount my NFS uh, files from my uh, network storage device, my Synology NAS, to get it to mount to Linux. That took me quite a while. Now the other one uses a Western, uh, Western Digital external hard drive and NAS. I have not figured out how to do that one yet, so that's the next thing I got to do. But anyway, that's that's what I was going to show you that uh, perhaps somebody could tell me how how to mount these doggone uh, uh, external dr uh, drives, network drives, NASs onto Linux. I struggle with that, but then again, I'm, it's all new to me, so I am learning. And again, these do low, uh, load up, but they're low on the slow side, but it's still faster than my 10-year-old $10, $10,000 computer. So these little uh, inexpensive uh, devices do very well. Krista, okay, that gentleman, everybody knows who he is. Back to the future. And these are uh, actually my movies that I have ripped and put on my NAS. The uh, reason I do that, the reason I ripped them, because I had a huge stack of movies that I've accumulated over the years. And if I wanted to sit down and watch one, i got to go dig out all those movies to find the one I want to watch. And invariably, I end up watching something that I didn't go for. But anyway, it made it so much, much easier just to rip them and put them on my NAS. But anyway, uh, this is all uh, created by uh, MB. And I have been using... Uh, Cody for most of the time, but since I've got some new devices, I figured I would try MB out, and uh, it works pretty well, especially on these low-powered devices. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. If you've got any questions, let me know, and perhaps you can give me some instructions on how to use Linux. Thank you.